Floyd Instruments, formerly J.A. Floyd, was founded by James Atkinson Floyd in 1935, and since that time it's operated in Melbourne, Victoria. Floyd manufactures a comprehensive range of Borden, capsule and diaphragm seal type pressure gauges, in addition to a wide range of industrial thermometers. As well as providing an excellent technical support team that will offer sound advice on your requirements, we also have the facilities to repair most makes of gauges and thermometers. We are also able to offer traceable certification on new or repaired pressure or temperature gauges. We are committed to manufacture and supply a quality made product and also offer a standard of service and technical support that our market demands. Floyd Instruments manufacture a standard range of gauges but also specialises manufacturing to specific requirements of its customers. At Floyd's, each pressure or temperature gauge that you order is assembled by hand. Particular attention is paid throughout the process, from receiving your order to the soldering, assembly, calibration, right through to the final dispatch. With the products we manufacture, we do not compromise on quality. The board and tube materials that we use are phosphor bronze, 316 stainless steel and monol, and are a full size to suit the diameter of the gauge. The movements are also of full size. During the calibration process, the accuracy of the gauge is tested on increasing and decreasing pressures at every major division around the scale. This guarantees that the product you receive is within its stated accuracy. Pressure gauges are manufactured with various mounting configurations and diameters from 50 mm up to 300 mm, with ranges in vacuum down to 100 kPa and pressure ranges starting at 2.5 kPa up to 100,000 kPa. Pressure gauges can be offered with brass or stainless steel wetted parts. Floyd temperature gauges are available in diameters 25 mm up to 200 mm with ranges of minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 650 degrees Celsius. Scales can be offered in standard units of kPa or other units including PSI, bar, MWG, kilograms by centimetres squared, tonnes and various other units. And we are also able to offer dual scales, scales with red lines, coloured bands and company logos. Other special manufactured items include test gauges with 0.25% accuracy, refrigeration gauges, duplex and diaphragm seals. Diaphragm seals are available for use in all industry waters and sewerage, food and beverage, petroleum, chemical, paper and pulp, corrosive and non-corrosive applications, as these can be provided in a vast array of materials of construction. Vibration can be a reason for a gauge not to operate successfully, and high frequency vibration can be more severe on the internal components than a low frequency vibration. When vibration occurs, it causes erratic movement of the quadrant, pinion and link, which causes these components to wear out in a short space of time. In this situation, a glycerine-filled gauge will extend its life, or if possible, mount the gauge off the vibrating machinery. Pulsation will normally occur when gauges are used in the close proximity of a pump and it will cause erratic expansion and contraction of the Borden tube and in conjunction movement of the pointer. In this instance, the quadrant, pinion and link components will wear out in a short space of time. In this situation, a glycerine filled gauge will extend its life and or the use of a snubber will restrict the flow into the gauge. Standard pressure gauges are manufactured so that they will withstand a 25% overpressure, but this would be for short periods of time only. In a higher overpressure situation, the Borden tube will enlarge and not return to normal shape, thus the gauge pointer will not return to zero. Once this has occurred, the gauge in most cases is not repairable and would need to be replaced. Under normal working conditions, pressure gauges should be used so that the pointer is at mid-range and only for a short period of time at full range. 
Long periods of use with the pointer at full range may stress the Borden tube and over a period of time the pointer may not return to zero. If in the situation of a pump startup or a gate valve closing, the gauge could be subject to a spike pressure and this could be ratified by choosing a higher range gauge, fitting an overload valve or a snubber to reduce the sudden flow into the gauge. Pressure gauges should only be used in conjunction with temperatures up to 60 degrees Celsius. In the case of its use with higher temperatures, the accuracy of the gauges may be affected. Industrial gauges with ranges up to 6,000 kPa will normally have the Borden tube soft soldered into the connection, and it would be recommended that this type not be used for over 100 degrees Celsius. For applications over this temperature, we suggest you consult us for our recommendations. Gauges used on steam should always be used in conjunction with siphons which have a condensate barrier between the live steam and the pressure gauge. Pressure gauges can be used on most mediums that suit their materials of construction, be it corrosive or non-corrosive. Air, oil and water are non-corrosive, so brass materials of construction would be suitable. Gauges being used on gases which have a range of 2,500 kPa and above are to be of safety pattern design and are a special manufacture. General gauges cannot be used if the medium is oxygen or an oil-free gas since these gauges are also safety pattern designs. It is also important to note that manufactured oil-free as oil and oxygen when combined and pressurised will cause an explosion. When the medium contains solids such as slurries, which may block the connection and Borden tube or the gauges are being used in the food and beverage industry where they are required to be hygienic, it is recommended that diaphragm seals be used. Diaphragm seals form a barrier between the product and the internals of the gauge, thus extending the life of the gauge in a slurry situation and not letting bacteria form when hygiene is required.